Chancellor Israel's last speech, before his abdication, translated. Today marks ten years since the Grell Empire ceased to be. I was just a junior senator at the time, watching the end of the war that had started while I was in my middle schooling come to an end. The Grell were a force of nature for many in the galaxy. Our coalition of worlds was formed to keep their aggression at our borders. Even then, if a species showed weakness, they suffered terribly for it, until humanity entered the galactic stage. More than a hundred years ago, our state space explorers met their first scout ships. They told us they came in peace, and settled a number of worlds. We warned them of the general shape of the galaxy, and told them of the Grell, and some of the smaller pirate laws that rode the stars. We had the occasional trade with them, and learned little of them. In hindsight, that was a mistake. In approximately a century, humans settled 35 worlds. We learned that after a service doing a census of the unallied powers, they received a response from humanity. 35 worlds and 75 billion souls. Senator Kerak told me at the time, it appeared as though humans did not do things by half. At the time we learned that humans were not overly militarised. They had a small navy that was designed mostly to stop piracy. This is not to say they were non-violent, but that was as we found out a new mindset for their history, and when it seemed easily picked up. In 2502, as humans marked their calendars, they lost a colony, New Olympus. Then before the end of the following year, they lost another two, Pratchett and Amor. It was, of course, the Grell. We feared for humanity, and even offered some level of membership in the Coalition, and were refused. The Coalition funnels a tremendous amount of funds and resources into our defence, nearly 5% of our economy across the board. The Grell, as I understand, double that. I had never heard of the concept the human ambassador explained to us. Total war. It became clear within the next two years as the human small anti-piracy fleet turned into an army of small carrion predators killing Grell ships in the dark and confounding their invasion plans. In those two years, more ships of the same type, or older ships pulled from mopples, joined the fleets in combat, and we were impressed by their progress. Then we found out what they had been doing. Every sentient above adulthood, it seemed, had pitched in bending every aspect of humanity's economy and manufacturing base into building a war machine we had never seen before. The fleets that were built in two years would take us a dozen. Ships as small as yachts to asteroids hollowed out and filled with weapons and engines. Even several ships were so large they appeared to be space stations. We asked if they had these all along. Hurt that they might have conquered us with such a ready fleet. We were told no. They were designs and concepts humanity had understood well before they reached into the stars. Humanity has spent a long time fighting itself in every manner and every climate. They had chosen to stop behaving that way. Humanity forcibly threw the Grell out of their space in three years. They knew no limitation or hurdle they couldn't meet. Energy weapons, kinetics, fighters of all things. They shattered the Grell's mightiest conquering fleet, and when the Grell offered them alliance, they, thankfully, turned them down. They also didn't stop. Humanity's fleets broke the Grell fortifications over dozens of worlds, and a terrifying kind of human called Marines broke their armies. World by world, fleet by fleet. Several times they were handed crushing defeats by the counter-offensives the Grell threw at them, but eventually they had the Grell by the throat. Ending the war by imprisoning the Grell in their original system, denying them even spaceflight. Afterward, humanity approached us and asked what would become of the worlds they had freed, and if we would want to care for them. When we hesitated, they took that responsibility too, reforming a huge swarm of the galaxy that they had lit a flame into what they called a protectorate. I remember asking the ambassador, fearful that we were being presented with a new Grell Empire in another wrapper. He laughed and told me no. Humanity would see peace if they had to maintain it. A protector was, was meant to protect, after all. In the ten years since their economy has struggled to get back together out of what they call a war footing. They have also created a policy we never could in half a millennia of fighting the Grell. One of their bars was proclaimed, don't start none, won't be none. I pity the sentient that starts something with the humans next.